Wilson. I'm the founder of the Backyard Axe Throwing League, or Battle, as it's now known. Battle started as an adventure to a cottage that kind of got rained out. We didn't have much to do out there, so a niche pulled out a hatchet and taught the two of us how to throw an axe. We'd come up with a list of just, just talking, going, you know, you know who else would love this? Diamond would love this. You know who else would love this? Uh, Trev would love this. After a couple days, I was like, why don't we just call those guys and do a little league? And so we did. I've been making up stupid games forever. Whether it was like towel whipping contests we did at a stag party for a whole day once. We had like 12 events about how you're gonna use a wet towel and whip plastic cups off your buddy's head and whatever else. I've been asked if it is a sport before. I feel like it's a sport, for sure. If you ever come and throw and you make it to playoffs, that shit is stressful. And it's definitely physical and it requires skill, so I say for sure it's a sport. But nobody thought they were gonna be allowed to do it. Everybody thought it shouldn't be allowed, but then we just did it. I guess we were organized enough that when the cops came, they, they... I'm just too stubborn to stop, that's pretty much what it was. More girls here than I was expecting. Oh, I love it! I don't know, it's hard to say what kind of people we track. We got guys that work in the financial district. You know, guys that are, a guy that's 6'8", covered in tats, that works in the, works at the bars. We got a girl throwing right now who's seven and a half months pregnant, five foot one, Asian, awesome chick who's been throwing forever, you know? Everybody wants to throw an axe, they just don't know yet. <laughs> 